what's up? This is Nadia from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this switching tutorial we are going to do an update of the previous switching tutorial that we did last year and this update is going to be the same thing we are going to connect multiple devices and share files with these multiple devices and this is going to be done with the same switch dealing it cost me it costed me 600 rupees that's right yeah that's approximately 11 dollars and it's really very cheap because it does the simple switching job so we are going to use a new software that is Ducto and not IP Messenger and that's pretty much because IP Messenger doesn't work so well nowadays on Linux machines that's why I am switching to the Ducto application and that's it let's proceed so just go to the link that is msec.it click on Ducto R6 it is currently in the beta state but the best part is it supports multiple operating systems For this tutorial, we are going to stick with only the main operating systems for the desktop that is Windows, Linux and Mac. So just select your operating system and download the file. On your Mac, you will have a .dmg file. Just double click on it and open up the Ducto DMG file and you will have this ducto.app and the application folder so just drag it to your application folder and that will allow you to install the application I already have this application so I'll, I will just replace it and you can see it is copying ducto.app to my applications folder so it's that simple and that's how you install ducto application on your Macintosh once you open up the exe file the installation should begin and just continue with the procedure and it should get installed within few seconds. For Linux we will go to the official website and in the official website we will go to Ducto R6 page. We will go to the bottom click on the Linux download page and over there we will just scroll down and as soon as we scroll down we have a click here button. We will click on the click here button and select your operating system which is either Fedora or Ubuntu. I am running Ubuntu 12.10 and as soon as you click on your operating system you are given the steps for your version of your operating system. So there are hardly two to three steps which you need to copy and paste it in the terminal of your Linux machine distro. So I will copy the first command and then I will open up terminal. In terminal, I will type in sudo space dash i to get the root privileges. Type in your password. And once you are in the root of your system, just paste the first command. And then we will type in the second command that is apt dash get space update. This particular command will update your operating system with the latest files and dependencies. Finally, we have the last command that is apt dash get space install ducto. Just type in this command and ducto should get installed. Now we will perform the IP configurations on our operating systems. So first we will look at the Macintosh, second we will look at Windows and third at Linux. So on your Macintosh, you need to go to System Preferences. Over there, you need to go to Network. And in Network, you will observe that you have Ethernet connection. So I will suggest you don't mess up with this default Ethernet connection and click on this Configure IPv4 drop down menu and click on Off. And now click on Add and select the interface as Ethernet and say this is a switch you can call it anything I am calling it as a switch which I will be using it for my LAN communication and click on create now you will click on the drop down menu of configure IPv4 and select manually in the IP address we will provide IP address in a sequential order so we will type in 10.0.0.1 for Mac for Windows I will give 10.0.0.2 and for Linux, I will give 10.0.0.3. So they all are going to be in a sequential order. 
and the subnet mask we will be keeping 24 bits on the network side that will be 255.255.255.0 now you don't need to understand what I mean by saying 24 bits on network side you just need to type in 255.255.255.0 and we don't require any router because we don't have any gateway device we are just going to switch between the subnet I mean within the subnet now you need to go on advanced and you need to go to DNS and we are going to set the DNS as 10.0.0.10 .0 once you add the DNS click on OK and then click on apply we have completed the IP configuration for our Mac if we want to configure the IP address on a Windows machine we will right click on the Ethernet or Wi-Fi logo in the taskbar and when we do that we will click on open network and sharing center, center we will now click on change adapter settings now we will right click on the local area connection and go to properties in properties we will go to TCP IPv4 and now we will type in use the following IP address 10.0.0.2 the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 We don't have any gateway device so we will leave the gateway and in the DNS we will type in 10.0.0.10 .10. Then we will click on OK and that's it We have successfully completed our IP configuration on Windows I am running Ubuntu 12.10 and in order to configure IP address we need to go to the network connections and that is the settings of your network connections so in Ubuntu on the top status bar we will either have a Wi-Fi logo or Ethernet logo just right click on it and click on edit connections and then we have wired connection 1 which is default now we are not going to use the default connection so just click on edit go to IPv4 settings and click on in the method select disabled click on save and now click on add now name the new connection as switch this is the connection which you can always use for your switching and now we will click on the method as manual and add a new IP address which will be 10.0.0.3 because this is the third device and the net mask will be 255.255.255.0 we don't have any gateway device so we are not going to add any gateway and in the DNS server add 10.0.0.10 .10. click on save and click on close that's it your IP configuration on your Linux device has been completed Now we need a ethernet cable and this is a ethernet cable which is same from both the ends and this is a unshielded twisted pair ethernet cable so for on, on a mac you need to connect one end next to the power port that is your ethernet port and when you have done that you need to take your switch and connect the next end to any one of the ports I will be selecting the port number 1 and there you go I have connected my Mac that's my first PC to the switch now we will connect our Windows machine that is my second PC to the switch and just find the Ethernet slot and just connect one end of the Ethernet cable to your Windows machine and the next end you will connect it to your switch and I will connect my windows to the port number 2 and there you go I have connected the second port to my windows machine and as soon as you connect you should have LEDs blinking so my port number 1 and 2 LEDs are blinking that is clearly visible on the video screens now we will connect our Linux machine to the switch so find the ethernet slot and just connect the one end of the ethernet slot to your Linux machine and the second end to your switch 
so over here I've got three slots left and I will select the third port for connecting my Linux machine and let's connect it once you connect it you should have three LEDs glowing and the power LED also glowing so in all four LEDs so that's pretty much how you connect your devices to the switch once we have configured the IP addresses on all our machines we have to check the connectivity of these devices so we will ping these devices now ping is always done followed by the IP address so we will ping the IP address of those devices so first we will ping Windows which was on 10.0.0.2 and when I do that I get a reply of 64 bytes which basically means that the communication is successful and I can I have got the layer 3 status of my 10.0.0.2 IP address now let's do the same thing to check the network layer status of our Linux device so I will just clear everything now I will ping my Linux device that is 10.0.0.3 and when I do that I get a reply from my Linux device and which basically means that the network layer status has been checked and my Linux device is also fully functional so the IP has been has been configured properly on my Linux device now we will open up the ducto application and I have opened up the ducto application on my Mac and it's saying me whether you want to open it or not I'll say open on my Windows too I have opened up the ducto application so the application on Mac is still opening and it is showing me all the devices so I can see Niancid that is my Windows and my Linux so everyone is connected so I'll just try sending one of the files to one of the devices let's say Linux and I will just drag it and drop it and there you go the file transfer works and depending on your switch you will get the transfer rate my switch transfers at 10 MB per second and that's quite slow I know but that's what it is So the data has been sent, I've got a confirmation and as you can see on the Linux also we have received the data so it's working perfectly fine. Now let's try sending a message through this particular software so let's send it to my Mac, I select my Mac and let's say send some text, I say hi and I click on send and on my Mac I've received a text snippet and that's really cool. So it works perfectly fine you can send text messages and even files so that's it with this video guys i hope you liked it please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrack.com